and a very good Tuesday evening to all of you across the uh, desert southwest. We have quite the conversations here in between uh, news breaks. Glad to have you with us here tonight. A gorgeous night out there. Let's take a look outside, shall we? At the RV World of Yuma Skycam, looks relatively calm right now. Uh, down here, you see the tree moving just a little bit. We have breezy conditions out there. It could change to uh, windy to gusty at times, but for the most part, we're going to be right between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Gusts anywhere between 20 and 25, but again, mostly clear skies out there. A great night to uh, check out those constellations. We'll check in with Vince about what his favorite is. Again, he had some homework that we talked about last night. We'll see if he uh, was able to do that or not. Let's take a look at our uh, satellite and radar, what we have going on throughout the area. Again, mostly clear. We do have a few lingering clouds that will make their way into the uh, desert southwest, into our viewing area. You'll see some of them uh, throughout Imperial County and here in uh, southern Yuma County. Jumping ahead to our future cast, this shows all the cool spots that we have throughout the uh, United States, also into Canada as well. The uh, the white, uh, that's icy, that's really, really cold. The blue is below our normal, uh, where we should be. And here in the desert southwest, this uh, weather system coming in from the East Pacific, bringing with it warmer temperatures, uh, anywhere between 5 and 10 degrees, above our average of 73 degrees. We certainly felt that today. A wider view of the satellite and radar shows that we have a slurry, yeah, a slurry of snow showers throughout the Midwest, most notably near Duluth and Lake Superior in Minnesota, also stretching through portions of Michigan and Maine. Back down here in the desert southwest, let's talk about our future winds. Again, we could be gusty at times as we get into tomorrow morning. Those gusts anywhere, like I mentioned, between 20 and 25 miles per hour, but tomorrow later in the afternoon, things are going to calm down and then they'll pick back up again, and that's what we can expect throughout the majority of our week. Let's take a look at our air quality index. I just updated this moments ago. And uh, Calexico and Mexicali to the south of the Imperial Valley, not doing quite that well. Calexico moderate, uh, slightly unhealthy down in Mexicali. The rest of the Imperial Valley sitting in a good standing. This brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. And let's stay in Imperial County, shall we? And take a look at our temperatures. Still pretty nice out there. 57 for those of you in Calipatria, 54 Imperial, 56 in El Centro, and 57 in Holtville. Across the county and state line into the Gila Valley, Yuma County. We're at 60 in Yuma, 61 in YPG, and 60 in the foothills. Take a look at our viewer photo of the day today it comes from Melissa Perry. An absolutely gorgeous shot. A Yuma sunrise she took just a couple days ago. Look at the incredible color she was able to get as the sun rising off into the east. Melissa, thank you so much for sending that our way and sharing that with us. And if you have a photo out there, we certainly would love to see it. More and more are coming in. You can put yours on the weather photo gallery. Scan this QR code. It's just like you're about to take a photo of it. It'll take you right to the weather photo gallery. Up your, upload your photo, photos, or uh, also include your name, a slight description as well. Or you can find me on social media, even drop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Real quickly, a look at your seven day forecast. Breezy, as I mentioned, that will stay with us all week long. But look at our temperatures. 81 tomorrow, 83 on Thursday, 85 by Saturday. Yes, please. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. 83 and very nice. We'll be breezy at times. Lots of sunshine. But take a look at Friday. 87 degrees. We could reach 90 by then. But for the most part, we'll take the mid to upper 80s.